Hey Cancer, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. So, uh, Cancer and Cross Watchers are welcome here as well. February 2022 energy. Um, this is for you. Very general message. It may or may not resonate. It might not entirely resonate. So just take what does and leave what does not for the next person. Cancer, two songs that I got for you. Um, all right, let's just take everything that's popping out right now. The first song I got was Beautiful Eyes by Young Blue featuring Kehlani. Um, and the second song I got was Exchange by Bryson Tiller. So um, instantly with the first song and leading into the second song, it just it feels like it's a lot of back and forth in your energy. This month, Cancer, it's a lot of back and forth between you and another person. Um, most of you guys, this is romantic, but it can definitely be some other type of um, relationship dynamic for you. Um, beautiful Lies, it just feels like it's a person that you've been back and forth with. It can either be mutually both of you guys are kind of the issue in the situation. Maybe you are, maybe the other person is, depending on who you're asking. Um, but it feels like a, a breakup to make up, like a lot of together, we're not together or tick for tack type of energy um, that has gone on in this relationship. OK, so if this is not happening um, in February, I feel like I feel like it's nothing new. If it's happening in February, I feel like this is a cycle that you've been in with somebody. Um, and then with the Bryson Tiller exchange, it's kind of like. I'm getting a vibe of both of y'all talking, but nobody's listening. Okay. So like you expect a certain something, you want cer uh, things to go a certain way within this dynamic. So does the other person, but it's kind of like both of you are talking, nobody's listening or everything is just tit for tat. You did this. So I'm going to do that. Or it's just a lot of back and forth. It's like the same issues repeating the same cycles over and over and over. So, um, that could apply to anywhere in your life if it's not romantic, but that's the message I have for you guys. We got the false person that flipped out here, okay? So, I mean, this is speaking to me already. I don't know if someone is viewing you as the false person or the other person. Um, you're viewing someone else like this. But we have false person and then we have courtship here. Okay, so this is the relationship dynamic I'm talking about. It's a lot of back and forth or it's a lot of, um, it's like a lot of mystery or like false promises or something like that that's showing up. We also have the wealthy man. Okay, I'm not too sure what the wealthy man has to do with this. Um, this could be you if you're the masculine energy or even if the, if you're the feminine energy, um, it's just a lot of shadiness. I'm not really sure like what's going on here or where this was going. And then we also have the family room. Okay. So this could be a family dynamic. Maybe somebody that you have a family with. Okay. Or someone in your family or someone you shared a home with at one point in time here. Um, wealthy man too, though. I'm also, Ooh, okay. I'm also getting, um, I'm getting somebody that could be greedy. Okay. Maybe greedy with their everything, their time, their energy, or, Someone who, something about attention. So maybe somebody likes a lot of attention or somebody gets a lot of attention. I'm getting groupy energy or just like a lot of external energy. And it could be on both the masculine and the feminine side or feminine, feminine, masculine, masculine, however it resonates for you. But it's kind of like um, somebody is viewing the other person as false here. Like there's some sort of lot, again, beautiful lies. There's some sort of like fakeness or lies that came out. Something about money could be significant, but I'm feeling it's just like the energy of a particular person and all of these other people, okay? Like of the opposite sex being around them. Like somebody who just is giving me womanizer energy. Um, I cannot think of the name of the song, but there's an artist who has a song um, and it's basically, what is the name of it? It's basically talking about how He's telling these women that he's just a womanizer. Um, it might be like, I don't know if he's like of the African descent or Nigerian. Can't think of his name, but he's the whole song is about him, you know, being a womanizer and not willing to settle down, etc., etc. So this could be you. You could be dealing with somebody like this. 
however it resonates okay so let's pull these up cancer let's go to the psychic oracle deck if you haven't already please go ahead and like the video comment i comment back share and of course subscribe the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more it actually push your energy into these messages and i can better pick up on what's going on with you okay so right off the bat at the bottom we have material and spiritual prosperity cancer okay um so this is this is good okay it's looking up from the start of the reading at least so maybe this is your focus okay yeah i see what this is going new beginning so you, maybe it's you leaving this behind okay whatever this back and forth is whatever this this not being able to be in alignment or on the same grounds with somebody like whatever it is i feel like you're closing a chapter on this okay or maybe this person is closing a chapter with you third eye chakra um hope card firm foundation love begins it's kind of like you just you need something new okay or you need someone new you need something different look at this passion ignited a new beginning a new uh, start a new spark you need somebody different okay um or something different to play out in your life because look at the energy of these cards i can't even put them back together um something is just stuck and it's stagnant i feel like you're kind of over um the whole situation maybe it, it requires a move you to move or somebody else Okay, the waiting game, yeah, it's almost like you can't really move around like you want to. Okay, Cancer, so let's just see. Spirit, what other messages do we have for Cancer during this time, February 2020? What other messages do we have for Cancer during this time? A couple of more shuffles. All right, so let's see. I don't know why I'm hearing escape. So you may be trying to escape. Maybe you have escaped from this situation already, Cancer. Um, and things are just kind of starting to look up for you. Movement, choices, and decisions. Yeah, there's a lot of emphasis on needing to move around, do something different, make a lot of choices, changes in your life. Maybe you're contemplating everything for the month of, um, oh, I almost said September and then November. That happened during... I think that happened th during Leo's reading, okay? So you could be dealing with the Leo, but during the month of February, okay? Trapped in fear here. Yeah, this it's a lot that's going on in your life. I feel like you're trying to make a lot of different choices. Um, you're trying to get things in alignment. It's just, it seems like things are a bit rocky for you. Let's see. Shadow, yeah. I feel like you are focusing on coming out of a dark situation, out of the darkness into the light. So this could be a little bit of the residual um, energy from like previous months, okay, or your recent past that's kind of carrying over. But I see you coming out of this cancer universe, yeah. This is something that's divinely orchestrated. There could be a tower moment that is coming if it has not happened already, okay? I'm picking up on Scorpio energy too for you, so you can have it in your chart or be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but I feel like something is about to happen in your life and things already feel like they're a little shooken up and all over the place, but whatever this is, it's going to put you in a better position to move forward. Yeah, rest and rejuvenate. It's going to put you in a better position to have your, your mind and your heart and your emotions at ease here. Okay, Cancer? So let's just see what else comes out for you. We have victory and success with movement, choices, and decisions. I feel like this, yes, could be, you know, current energy during this month, but I feel like it's a lot of past energy showing up. Um, and I feel like this is confirmation that you did make the right decision here. Whatever was causing you mental conflict, whatever was making you anxious, okay? I feel like you guys have separated yourself from that and it was it was a victory or it's a yes, it was the right decision for you. We have the power card, okay? Double eights, it's a lot of eights showing up here, okay? So um, August could be significant for you or just the number eight. The year of 88 could be significant as well. But whatever the decision is, decision is that you made, it definitely puts you in your power here, Cancer. Then you have rejoice and celebration. Yeah, out of darkness into the light. Some of you guys could be just leveling up in one way, many ways. You could be graduating here. Um, there's a need for you to celebrate or I feel like some sort of happiness is coming back into your life, okay? Um, your spirits are becoming a lot more uplifted here. We have patience. I feel like this is a message from the universe for you to be patient with the situation, okay? Um, and I also feel like there's just a lot of newness, okay? So whether you have acted on it or not or maybe you're acting on certain things in the month of february a lot of seeds are being planted here okay 
a lot of seeds. Okay, so as soon as I said a lot of seeds are being planted here, I picked up on fertility and pregnancy. Does not necessarily have to be an actual pregnancy cancer, but with the patient's card, the seed being planted, I felt it, flipped it over, and then fertility, you could be dealing with the Libra too. Um, this is also just some sort of growth, okay, and stability that's coming into your life, some sort of happiness. And I feel like you guys are making the decision to be happy, okay? A lot of this is um, just internal conflict or you've just kind of been in a low vibration or a slump here and I feel like you are really making the decision to be happy and you're seeing the results of it almost instantly cancer okay at the bottom we have mental conflict all right so it is a battle for a lot of you this is either an uh, internal battle or an external battle with someone else or a little bit of both maybe it's this external um relationship that has been causing you to be in this mental conflict but again i feel like this month you are making the decision to be happy it's like you're making the decision to no longer put up with whatever this is that's causing this craziness for you it could be more than one thing more than one person for you cancer um let me know down in the comment section how this is resonating for you and if it's hidden home for you, uh, go ahead and check out the description box below, you guys. You can find all the information in regards to how to book a private reading session with me. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Five of Cups, okay? So as you all know, um, or if you don't know, I pre-shuffle all the cards before getting on here um, and recording, lay them face down, and we have the Five of Cups, Cancer. So Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but also the Energy... Okay, here's Scorpio popping out the death card right behind it. But the energy of letting go, okay? This is something that you are emotionally detached from. You're letting go. At least you're trying to let go. I feel like y'all are having a hard time letting go of some sort of situation. It could be of a Scorpio or, again, something that just really has you in your head. Look at this Eight of Swords. Look at this. Eight of Swords. Something is definitely over. Three of Swords. Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. High Priestess. Temperance card. It... Could have been dealing maybe with a Sagittarius or a Pisces or Earth sign, okay? Any fixed sign, Leo, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, or Taurus, okay? So let's just see. Spirit, what other messages do we have for Cancer at this time? What other messages, Spirit, do we have for Cancer at this time during this month, February 2022? Other messages for my Cancers at this time. All right, so let's see, Cancer, what we have going on. Six of Swords. Yeah, this is moving forward. I feel like you are being guided, okay? Or your guide a spirit is trying to um, let you know that it's time for you to move forward out of a situation into a new situation, however it resonates. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, you need to invest elsewhere. And I feel like that's what you are doing, okay? Two of Cups. It could be in regards to work, but also this Two of Cups is letting me know that this is in regards to love. You were investing or trying to pour into some sort of dynamic here. Seven of pentacles with the two of cups and again i just feel like it wasn't working for whatever reasons here so you're being uh divinely led out of it we have the eight of pentacles okay um and let me just see a lot of y'all are dealing with a virgo a taurus or a capricorn and we have the world card so i mean i feel like maybe you felt like this was safe okay or maybe you were comfortable or maybe you invested a lot of time energy money into this situation but the world card is the ending to a cycle okay yeah y'all are moving forward into temperance this temperance energy balancing yourself out Seven of Pentacles with the High Priestess. You could just be nurturing your intuition or following your intuition um, here. But again, this could be a past situation, possibly with a Pisces for some of you guys. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let's see where this is going. A lot of y'all are just focused on your money, too. You're focused on yourself. You're focused on um, your money, um, or you will be during this month. The Ace of Swords, something about saving or a job. If you are in the process of, like, job hunting um, or hunting for any type of, like, home or vehicle or something about financial security, I feel like there's a message coming in for you guys. And then we have the Three of Swords, Okay. Um, it feels like you are moving forward, Cancer, but there's still a lot of, um, residual energy in regards to whoever or whatever this is that you're separating from, okay? And we have the Page of Wands, but I feel like there's some sort of new connection that's coming in for you. The Page of Wands is good news with the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles here, like some sort of new opportunity or something that's going to take your mind off of this. Um, I'm feeling a lot of energy of money for you guys, so it could definitely be something financially abundant coming in for you. Hold on one second, Cancer. All right, sorry about that, Cancers. Um, so yeah, Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. 
I feel like this is um it's something about you guys getting to know other people or socializing or some sort of good news coming in for you. Um, a fire sign could be significant. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Just because we have the Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, and then the Eight of Wands. Then we have the Ace of Cups and the Lovers, okay? Four of Swords, Page of Cups. It's almost like whatever it is that you are walking away from cancers or whatever it is that you have decided to walk away from in a recent past is putting you right in the position to attract something that is for you and better in a, um, a better alignment for you, okay? Like a better match for you. So let's wrap up the reading. I'm going to pull some cards from the Divine Doors deck. At the bottom, we already have silent skill. So it says, I challenge you to unpack your mind and meditation's grace. The soul can unwind, okay? Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt, okay? So if you are doubting anything, Cancers, um, if you're doubting that you will find, you know, the best position for you financially and romance, whatever it is for you, it's telling you to silence those negative thoughts, those low vibrational thoughts, those energies, okay? We also have Divine Guardian. It says, do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Okay, so you are being divinely led. You are divinely guarded here, protected here as well. And at the bottom, it says passages, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. So yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Um, you are going through a huge transformation, possibly multiple different transformations in your life at a time. But your decision to walk away, if you're questioning, if you made the right decision to separate, walk away or whatever major decision you made last, okay, in your recent past, the answer is yes, cancer, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.